Hello crafty friends, today we're going to make some really cute and quick embellishments that you can use in many of your projects. Besides cardstock, I'm also going to be using art stacks. These are ready to cut out prints that you can purchase from art stacks. I'll put the link in the description below. They come in different designs in each pack and they are printed on a really good cardstock ready for you to cut out and use as focal points or embellishments in your projects. I have already used some of the blue flowers in another previous project and there's also some sentiments and then today I'm going to be using these beautiful pink and yellow butterflies as focal points on my little embellishments. I'm going to select the two that I want and then I'm just going to fussy cut them out with a small sharp scissors. Once they are cut out, I want to add something to make them look a little bit more special. I'm going to add some dimensional glaze. This is made by Mod Podge. Remember, don't ever shake the bottle of dimensional glaze because it'll cause air bubbles and you certainly don't want little air bubbles in this. If you do happen to get an air bubble, just use a pin to just pop it or move it off onto the side and off your project. This will need at least three to four hours to dry. So once I've applied it, I'm going to put it to the side and leave it to dry while I work on the rest of the layered embellishment. I'm using my one and a half inch round punch just to cut out two circles in this contrasting cardstock and they are going to be the base of my embellishment. I'm then also going to cut out two strips, one for each circle that'll lie over the top. Now this is a great way to use scraps that you have or little bits of paper. Just before you throw them out, you could salvage little pieces like this. They don't have to be perfectly straight, they can also be torn, whatever is easier. And then I'm also going to put a piece of text, just going to tear a little piece and put it sideways, one for each circle. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see a little bit better. I'm now going to add some black thread underneath my little strips. I'm adding this black thread as a contrast. There's black on my little butterflies that I'm going to use and on my text and I think this just brings it all together. I also want to add a sentiment. I've gone through my little stash of die cuts that I have and I found two that I think will look good. They are not matching, the colors are quite different. The one is going to be purple and the other is going to be a dark blue, but I do like that they are not matching. I like the pop of color and it gives it a bit more interest. I want to add a little bit more dimension, so I'm going to add a small piece of white cheesecloth underneath some of the layers. Once I'm happy with all the placements, I'm going to stick everything down. For this project, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. And the reason being is that it dries instantly, well, almost instantly, and also it holds well, because there's going to be lots of layers. And I'm sticking things over thread and over cheesecloth. And some of my elements, like the butterfly, with the dimensional glaze, is a little bit heavier, so it'll stick well, and it goes through all the layers and sticks everything down well. My butterflies are now dry and I'll just show you if you can see how they look. Now it's a bit difficult to see in the video but they actually have a bit of a 3D gloss kind of finish. They have like a bubble, like a glossy bubble over them. They look really really beautiful in real life. I will now add the butterfly with hot glue. I'm just adding the hot glue in the middle of the butterfly so that their wings can pop off and bend up so they look not so flat. I would love if you subscribed to my channel. I have so many videos coming your way. Also click the little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. Also watch out for my monthly mini giveaway. Every month in one of my videos, I give away some of my handmade products that I actually make in the video. So watch out for those. 
I have stuck down the sentiments and now I'm putting in a little punched heart in a lime green. I tried a few different colors for this. I wanted something a little additional on the side just to balance it off and I thought the lime green looked really nice. I like the different pops of color and I think they match although they don't if that makes sense. I really hope you enjoyed this video and were inspired to create your own little embellishments. They would look great on a junk journal page or on a junk journal cover. You could use them as a focal point in an art journal, on an altered plan card or even an index card. They are very versatile. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.